first don't want to see that. Today is playing. Do I have a longer torso? I don't have a longer torso. No, I'm just like, okay, you're just sitting. I need to be like... I'm also in the sinky spot. Right? <laughs> we can scoot over if you want. No, because it's finally right. Okay. <laughs> Everyone, this is Mary over here at Images on the Page, and this is my best friend Tia. Hi. Today we're gonna do the BookTube Besties game. I saw it over at Cobb's channel, and their YouTube channel is X Reading Solace X, and I will link them down below. So the rules are: we ask each other, well, we ask a question in general, and then we have to answer for each other. So, question one: What is your favorite genre? Your favorite genre? It's gonna be really easy. Your favorite genre is fantasy, sometimes romance. Paranormal romance. Yeah, sometimes. Um, yours... Mine's easy. Well, yours is either going to be fantasy or young adult. I don't ever read young adult. You still read young adult? Mastiff series, Tamara Pierce, is young adult, technically. Yeah, she is, but she's the only young adult. I know, but you're passionate about it. Bye. <laughs> Who is their favorite boyfriend, girlfriend, slash significant other? So I didn't know what this meant. I didn't know if that meant like someone who was a boyfriend in the books or a significant other in the books or someone I would want to be my significant other. So I guess I answer it however you want. <laughs> I don't know. Um, oh shoot, I can't even think of his name. Oh no. What series? I feel like it would be from the Cut and Run series. Yeah, actually. Yeah, I feel like it would be the Cut and Run series, but I cannot think of his name right now. The um, Marine or the Cybercrime guy? Who do you think? The Cy guy. Zane. Oh, no, 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 not Zane. Tyler? Tyler. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yours would be, oh, yours is hard. Mine is hard. Yours is way hard. It's probably from a series I don't even know. Actually, be from the Cut and Run series. Would it? Yes. Main characters or not main characters? Main characters. So there you go. You Zane. got a 50-50. Nope. Tyler, Tyler. <laughs> I should have guessed because we're too much alike. I should have known we'd have the same answer. Okay, so question, that was question two, by the way. Question three is, what book or author are we most likely to buddy read? Lynn Fwelling. Yeah. Mercedes Lackey. Right. Either of those. Mm-hmm. There's actually a lot we would buddy read. We, yeah, we could probably we, buddy read a lot of things, actually. We have, we have read multiple books because of each other. I mm -hmm. read the Cotton Run series because of you. You mm -hmm. read the Night Runner series because of me. Mm -hmm. I yep. mean, a lot of the books, we could say. Mm -hmm. so. I think our biggest problem with buddy reading is we would both have problems with timelines. <laughs> you mean, like, ending at the same time? Yes. Or, okay, yes. yeah. We're, yeah. Our schedules are so weird. Yeah, that would be hard. We'd have to set it, like, way in advance. Like, finish this in three months. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think that would be fun, though. It would be. We should do it. We have to find something we'd both be interested in. All right. Question four. What book have they read the most? You don't really read. Mm -mm. Well, actually, no. I do have an answer for that. Do you? Oh, I'm oh, not going to yes. know it. I have a book I have reread, and it surprises even me, so you're never going to remember it. I can if you want. Yes. I was looking for the author at the bookstore the other day. So Katherine Anderson? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's all I know. I don't know any okay. of her titles. <laughs> Um, it's a book called Baby Love. It was my, the first adult book I read that okay. my mom let me read, which is really weird if you know the book. I'm questioning my mom's, uh, parental. Right? Who, which one do you think is mine? Mine's really hard just because I reread a lot. You reread a lot, and I feel like it's probably going to be one of the Tamora Pierce books. There is actually an answer to this. There is? Yeah. Is it one of the Tamora Pierce books? It is books? one of the Tamora Pierce books. It's in her Tortal world. Tortal world. I often read her thing out of Siri, out of order, and it really bugs you. Mm. The series. The order. Alana series? No, that's not. Is that even Tortal? Yeah. Yes, it is. Okay. Oh. Oh, it's the. Oh, crap. It's the one that is after that, I think. No, not the Talking to Animals one. No, not that one. That's the second one, technically. So it goes Alana, Dane, and then the one I reread. I was thinking it was Dane anyway, so no, I got it wrong. Yeah, it's, um, <laughs> I reread the, um, Immor uh, Protector of the Small series. Okay. And I always start, because it's my favorite book she's written up with her Squire series. So it's the third book in the series, so I okay. skip the first two. <laughs> and then I read the fourth one, and then I'll reread. It's stupid. I read the first and then the second one. Okay. Because I, I'm in the mood for that specific book, and I know mm -hmm. what it gives me. Okay. Question five. What's their favorite video they made? You don't really make videos. I do not. 
Well, I kind of made a video, but it's not a YouTube video, so it doesn't count. <laughs> I made a video of Zazu once. Oh, yeah, you said And it I put me. music onto it, and it was fun. And, but anyway. So, so anything to do with your animals is going to be yeah, your favorite. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, that'd be me. Um, I don't actually, it's going to be hard for you because I don't have a favorite that I've made so far. I, well then, I feel like it would probably be, if you had one, it would be one of your ranty videos because you like to rant. I do like to rant. So. That one, yeah. Probably one of your ranty videos. I don't have many, do I have many up? I think not yet. A couple. Okay. Just a couple. The one that's most prominent is like a, the struggles of a new booktuber. Yeah. Yeah. That one was fun. <laughs> it's less structured when it's a ranty video, which kind of helps my brain. <laughs> Chaos. Question six. What character annoys them the most? I can guess, but Clary from the Shadowhunter, from the... Oh, yeah. Immortal Clary irritates the ever-loving crap out of me. Yeah. Actually, mine's going to be a really controversial answer. Really? It's a really popular, popular series. They were made into movies. Twilight series? No. No, because that would have been my second most irritated... Although, yeah, but I just don't like the whole series in general, so the whole series irritates me, so it's hard for me to find one character I don't like. It's a really popular Harry Potter series. Yeah. Is it Harry Potter yeah. himself? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Harry Potter himself irritates me. <laughs> I am so proud that I knew that. <laughs> right? I was like, as soon as you knew, you're like, I know who your most annoying character is. As soon is. as I figure out the series, I'm good. <laughs> That's like the hardest part is like, which series is it from? Right. It was almost one mm. in many series. Mm -hmm. Question seven. Who's most likely to cry while reading? For your... Oh, uh, I think I'm most likely. Of the two of us, yeah. I'm way more likely to cry. We're doing this so wrong. We're just like agreeing on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that one was more like... Raise a hand of who... Raise like, your hand, pick. D yeah, definitely you. Yeah. I don't think oh. I've ever cried for you a book. You didn't cry during the Cut and Run series? Maybe I did. I think I might have, actually. You had to have that. The last book was... <laughs> you need to read. <laughs> Her hubby's home. <laughs> <laughs> you predicted it so I good. did. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Carrying forth. Question eight. How many questions, or how many questions, how many books do they own? You did a massive purge. I did. I've um, actually done a massive purge too, so that doesn't help. I'll just guess yours. You have more than I do for sure. Are we just doing physical books or ebooks? Let's just do physical books. Okay. That'll make your so easier life. So we can just line. guesstimate. Uh, 300-ish. I would have to know how many books I had to be able to answer that. Maybe? Sure. I feel like that's too many. I've actually gotten a lot, rid of a lot of books. Recently. I don't know. Because last time I saw your library, it was a full bookshelf and another bookshelf and another bookshelf. And then there were boxes full of books everywhere as well. Okay. So I still have the two bookshelves and the half bookshelf. But the half okay, bookshelf so is probably... full of my textbooks. So they're still physical books. Yeah. So I would guess... So maybe 150. That sounds cl about closer because I got rid of my whole Wheel of Time series, mm -hmm. which is like a shelf and a half. <laughs> I'm guessing you have, I don't even know how many you had to begin with. I probably had about 100 to begin with. So I'm guessing 50? Probably. I was like, yeah. because you got rid of quite a few. And I know you got rid of a lot of like one author who had like 800 books. Yes, I did. <laughs> she died. She, she's dead she to me. She didn't actually die. <laughs> But she's just not. She's dead to me. <laughs> there you go. Question nine. What is their favorite book to movie or TV series adaptation? I feel like you don't like book to movie adaptations 90% of the time. So I, I don't, don't think there's going to be an answer for you, period. Maybe the only one that I've actually read the book and seen all the movies for is Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. And I don't hate that adaptation. I would say Lord of the Rings, but I haven't read the book, so I can't. Mm, I haven't read the book either, so... There's a there's just a lot that I like on TV that have been adaptations, but I've never read the book. Mm -hmm. Yours, you're kind of the same way though. I'll I don't know. I like them a lot more, but I wouldn't say I really have a favorite. Maybe the Maze Runner series. Okay. I do like that ad adaptation, but it's I don't know that I necessarily like the the fact that it follows. It's just that it's a good like representation. I think. Mm -hmm. But it's been a while since I read it, so don't quote me. Okay. Somebody might severely disagree. I only have like seven subscribers, so you're good. Yeah. And you're one of them. <laughs> Number 10, what is their favorite series? This is going to be, I have too many answers for this. You can just name like the top seven if you wanted. I'm going to say the Circle series. Yeah. Because I read that. 
quite a bit. I reread that. I reread almost all the Tortal ones. Although I'm more picky about the Tortal ones. I reread the Circle series in order. Mm -hmm. Yours? I would have to say maybe Harry Potter. Mm -mm. Really? Mm -mm. Is it a series I know? It is. It is an epically long series and you did start reading it. I don't think either of us have finished it yet. Oh! Though. In the Company of Shadows by Sonny and Eris. It's a Goodreads book. They're like... It's Evanfall and... Oh, yeah. The first one is called Evanfall. The second <laughs> one is called... I don't even know anymore. But then it's like After Image and Interludes. They're like 1,500 They're very pages long, long a piece. <laughs> that... Those are awesome series, though. Yeah. It's like... It would have been between that and Cut and Run. Yeah. Yeah. I've reread Cut and Run, too. So, I mean, like... For Harry Potter, it's more of a childhood That's what I favorite sure. memory. Yeah. But as far as like reader, like could not put it down, was obsessed as an adult now, it would be one of those yeah. two. Yeah, it's because of, I got so obsessive that I, I had to stop it too because I hadn't done anything other than read for like three weeks. I remember you were just like, I haven't slept in two days and I have to work tonight. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, and Damn. so I'm, I'm a little afraid to start that again. Yeah. Well, that was the book two bestie games. And ta-ta for now. Bye.